All right, it's Wednesday, June 26th. Uh, we just got dropped off at the trailhead back to Cottonwood Pass. Uh, I actually left the group. They got off at Trail Pass the other day. I got off at Cottonwood Pass, so they're going back to make up the five miles and I'm just gonna meet them at camp tonight. But uh, I got about a 10 mile hike tonight. Lone Pine was amazing. It's an awesome little town. I think we were contemplating taking a zero, but I think the more time you just stop and think about this stuff, the worse it gets. There's a lot of fear mongering from people that haven't even been out here this year. So if it gets too dangerous, we'll turn around. But uh, I think we got a good group, good strong group of guys. But uh, excited to be back out here today. Really excited for this next section. I know how beautiful it is. I'm excited to see it covered in snow. Just got back up to the top of Cottonwood Pass. Lots of snow up here, as you can see. Alright, we made it to camp at mile 755. We're camped along this nice little stream. Um, we all made it here. We're all back, uh, bands back together again. Uh, we have about 12 miles to the base of Whitney. That's what we're going to do tomorrow. And then summit Whitney on Friday. Got the Sierra squad here. We are all practicing our self-arrest skills here before we get up to Whitney. So I'm going this side, I'm like, yeah. Alright, we made it to the uh we're near the Crabtree Ranger Station at the base of Mount Whitney. I uh, hiked about 12 miles today. The elevation definitely takes the uh, wind out of you. But uh, plan is tomorrow to get up and be on trail by 2.30 tomorrow in the morning. And some at Whitney, we probably won't make it for sunrise, but we're just trying to get it while it's still crunchy out and be safe. 
Uh, so yeah, the plan is tomorrow, Summit Whitney, come back down. We'll probably chill here tomorrow and then uh, head back out tomorrow. So sitting in my tent, I've just ate dinner. It's probably about 6.30. Uh, it's dead around here. There's probably f at least 40 tents and everybody is either getting ready for the summit bright and early tomorrow or they did it today and they're resting because they're just completely beat. So I'm gonna try to get a few hours of sleep. I have my alarm set for two in the morning and hopefully we can get up and get out of here when it's frigid and make it to the summit before all the snow starts to get pretty slushy. That's the goal. We'll see you guys up there later. It's about 2.45 in the morning. We're getting ready to summit out Whitney. Just headed back down from Whitney. What an amazing experience up there. It is such a hard climb, but it is worth every bit of it. That's the second time I've been able to go up there and it was just as amazing this time as it was the first time. If you ever get the chance, if you ever get the chance to go up there, it was amazing. Uh, we left about 2.30 in the morning. It took us five hours to get there. Uh, we didn't get to see sunset or sunrise, but all the the colors off these mountains behind us was just just as good. So have a hell of a climb down, but uh, what an amazing experience. Today is Friday, June 28th. Had an awesome day, summited Mount Whitney, the highest mountain in the lower 48. Uh, and pretty easy day after that. We got back around two and just had the afternoon to hang out by the creek and do a little tanning and just relax. So gonna get up tomorrow, make it to the base of Forester Pass, and then that'll be our next big challenge.
made it to camp, got everything all set up. We are at mile 778. We are camped just under Forester Pass. We probably have about a mile and a half to get up and over it. Found the last possible camp spot here before the pass and the views here are just absolutely amazing. Uh, it was a pretty tough climb today. We probably climbed through three miles of snow field. It was pretty slushy, but worth every bit of it. The views all day have just been outstanding. Right there behind me is Forester Pass. It looks pretty sketchy. We just... So it's kind of hard to see, but you can see some people's snow prints. Um, you can see some people's switchback footprints up there. And then right around here, the trail connects and you switch back through here. And then you go across the mountain here. And then we cross this snowy chute, which is the sketchy part. That's why we're waiting until the morning, until the ice, the snow is a little more icy and crispy. That's what we're doing in the morning. It's about five in the morning, getting ready to take off, headed up Forester Pass. Send it to your parents. Yeah, just there. Alright, sea bass. That definitely boosted my confidence a little bit. Just you yeah. know, having somewhat of an idea. Yeah, for sure. Happened because you never want to say what's happened, you know what's happened, what's happened. And then yeah. my trailer is right, capacitor. Right. So they just yeah. translate it. I was like, shit, where's my phone? And it's tiny. Okay. It's awesome. It used to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Just had to scramble down this side of the mountain. Another avalanche area. So we're headed up towards Glen Pass. We're going to exit out of Cursarge Pass, but this morning we came down this. Up. 
I just left the PCT. We're on the Cursage Pass Trail, headed into the town of Bishop for our next resupply.